The new commitment to ocean stewardship is perhaps most intimately witnessed in the small fishing community of Port Orford, Oregon. Port Orford has developed a communal vision, protecting their marine habitat that sustains their fisheries. We needed to bury that tired old idea that loggers and fishing people and ranchers and environmentalists were on different sides. Those days are sort of over. It's clear that people can, from all of those different arenas can come together and make good things happen and that's what's going on here. First of all, we designated a stewardship area, Port Orford Stewardship Area, which is basically our traditional fishing grounds. 90% of the fishing we do takes place within that economic range. So that's what really kind of started me down this road. I wanted to have some voice in our future here, instead of letting you know other people tell us what our future is going to be. We wanted to be part of it. As in the Florida Keys, the fishermen of Port Orford realized that conservation was the key for their economic future. Before, when they realize there's a problem, it's too late. Right. That's what always happens on all the fish. It, we, we, we'd like to address the problem and find out before and address it so we don't have the problem. The fishermen took bold precautionary action. They designated Oregon's first marine reserve, which prohibits any extractive activities, including fishing. It's hard to lose that much of my personal income here but I know it is the right thing, and I know down the road it's gonna pay in dividends, so. Here the fishermen have initiated more than a dozen local science projects, mapping the marine habitat here, analyzing the movements of rockfish, and undertaking the region's first survey for seaweeds. We've gotten more scientific study in the last four years than we've gotten all my lifetime down here. And we're going to get a lot more. That's the marine reserve. So right now we're sitting at the northwest corner of the reserve. So if you drew a line straight from here... This is a community-based effort. And I'm not aware of any successful effort that really meets the, the triple bottom line that advances the economy and, and preserves community values and a way of life and, and our natural environment that doesn't start at the community level with local buy-in. So I think what you've done here is truly, truly remarkable and it's worth celebrating and it's worth sharing across uh, our state and across the nation. We see clearly that jobs can go with conservation, that we can continue to fish, let's extract fish from the ocean and do it right and have a conservation ethic around how we fish and still have our jobs and, and have our income for our families. The most vital lesson from these ocean pioneers is that their success or failure is ours. We are all in essence ocean pioneers, steering uncharted waters in a sea of rapid change. It will take all of us to turn the tide on ocean frontiers from coast to coast. A new way of thinking, a new way of living, in concert with the sea, in consideration of those yet to come. Now is your opportunity to get involved.